Hello, hello again. I'm Angry Weasel, and this will be a Star Citizen news and guide video briefly going over the new Overdrive event and the phases planned for the event, along with a quick rundown of each, starting with what I think they will entail and how they will lead into the next. Lastly, I'll cover my thoughts on the events thus far and how we at Branded Privateers have been tackling Phase 1. Sit back and enjoy the gameplay footage in the background of one of our recent Intel raids. I'll be keeping this video short and concise. If you like this video, or if it helps you and your crew, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, and sharing it out to your community. And, if you think I did well, subscribing. Alright, so, we've mostly all done Phase 1 at this point, and it consists of five separate raids on bunkers around Stanton at, that have Xenothreat loyalists or spy cells operating within them, and using the server rooms inside each bunker to upload the info back to Xenothreat HQ on the best way to attack Stanton. Your teams are tasked with assaulting these bunkers and disrupting the data being sent back to Xenothreat. As you continue to advance in these missions, the stakes get higher and the time on the X increases as the uploads have increased the thresholds. Once you get past the bunker defenses, you have to then go locate the server room, insert a hacking card into the mainframe to begin the event. At this time, the servers around you begin to process the info and have a chance of being hacked by an outside party to overheat the server decks and thus destroying the data. In order to prevent this, your party must communicate with one another on when these servers are being hacked and the other party members will need to find a four-digit code that will be located somewhere within the bunker on the screen scattered throughout the bunker. Once the upload is complete, the mission is finished and the team can then move on to the next mission within the series, totaling five intel raids to complete phase one. All right, at the end of uh, phase one, about a week later, we get phase two. This will be a three-stage space battle. These will mainly be bounties and need to be taken and collected throughout the Stanton system. These are suggested to be MRT or HRT level threats. Once a team or player collects on the bounty, the player will then need to EDA it out to the target and collect the key on the bounty's person. Once that key is collected, then they will need to go to another location in order to drop off that key. I feel like this part of the event is going to be best done either solo or with a small group with a good amount of firepower. Multi-crew ships at this point would probably be pretty good. A week later we're going to get phase 3 which is a 5 stage space battle. This will be more of a fleet battle like some of the larger ships with escorts and do some killing. This part of the event is server wide and can't be shared so all of the party members will need to take the contract and independently accomplish this phase. This is much like the Xenothreat event that we have done in the past, and will probably flow very similarly. The next week brings the next phase, which is going to be Phase 4, which is a three-stage space battle again. This one is similar to the Comlink missions we do around the main sectors of Crusader, Microtech, Hurston, and Arcorp. You fly to these locations, destroy the ships holding around the point, and then EVA into the Comray and stop the hack or reactivate the Comray. From there, head back to your ship and fend off waves of ships pushing into the area to stop you. Certain ships will be able to stop the progress of the recovering uh, the Comoray, so you'll need to take those out quickly. Bada bing, bada boom, you're on to phase five. Phase five will be a single stage FPS battle at SPK. Head over to SPK and prevent the Xeno threat from hacking the security terminal. Once you have secured the terminal, prepare yourself for an absolute horde of Xenothreat attempting to stop you and your team, bringing lots of ammo. Hit the reset button at the end of the hack and clear out. Congrats, you're on to phase six. Now we're on to phase six, which will be a single stage FPS battle at the crash site scattered around the verse. Here you'll need to get to the crash site and then collect three packages as you fight your way, your way through waves of enemies. Once you collect the packages, go ahead and head over to another site drop them off, and boom, you're complete. End of the phases, end of the events, and hopefully I'm guessing this will lead into the actual Xenothreat invasion of Stan. From here, overall, I'm loving this event. It's been a load of fun, and we have encountered very little in the way of bugs thus far. It's been great to jump in with our community over at Branded Privateers and knock these out. We've experimented with several ways of knocking these missions out over the past week, and have seen others doing the same. As a mostly FPS org, this has been a great event for us, and we are looking forward to the rest of the phases planned up until Invictus. The video in the background is showing a loose way of how we've been tackling these thus far, but I'm curious how the rest of you are doing these. Please share in the comments below. The link to this guide will be posted below. Thanks, Akabu Yasu. 
I'm sure I mispronounced your name, but thank you. I hope this guide helps you out in the coming weeks. And as always, if you need a group and like the gameplay in the background, swing by our Discord. The link is in the description below. And jump into the verse with us. That's it. Short video. Nice and sweet. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you next time. Stay angry. Did count. We're good to go. Got it. Main, just loop it around to the app down here. Oh, he's going to front. Front okay. and ass. Just load, load, load. Load and load. 